how to remove the zipper bulge. So this is the bust line. This is assumed to be your back panel. You know, this is the zipper point, and this is the one inch zipper allowance. So this is the bust line. This is the underbrush. This is the waistline. Then let's assume the hips line is a 27 and a half or 25 or 26, whatever. Here I assume this 25. Then I move three inches upward from the uh, uh, hips line such that uh, the curve wants to do doesn't rest on the hip line. You can move three inches or three and a half inches or three, four inches upward away from the hips line, your hips line. Once you get your hips line from your shoulder point. So what are we going to do? Removing the zipper, but just mean, you know that the back, the back, you see that from your waist to your bust line at the back or thereabouts, it's curvy inside. So you just come to this waistline, you remove half inch inwards like this. So what you do is that you just curve it to this bust line. Make sure it's curvy. So, and you turn, you also shape it to this. Uh, if upper if extension that you did, just like this. So can you see? Just make sure it's. How will I say it? It has like. A curvy effect that it's, it really goes. So, just like that. So, can you see right now? I've curved it. So, I'll just carefully remove this. So I'll just cut this away carefully right now. So, what I'll do next is that right now, this curvy part, I'll now create the one inch zipper allowance. Do you understand? So, such that, you know, this is the zipper allowance. So you just create your one inch zipper allowance. This is where we affix our zipper horn. Can you see, by the time you affix your zipper on this portion right now, it's going to go inside on this part of your body that is curvy. So the zipper sits well and it's not bulging, yeah. So can you see, we've created the one inch uh, zipper allowance. So the zipper is just gonna come like this. Some persons actually do it to the tip of their uh, back panel, but it's cool you do it from your bust line. You see that the, the upper part of your back, the center back is straight, but when it gets it, when it, <laughs> when it gets to somewhere like, the portion of your burst at the back, it starts to fold in. So that's it. Then these other words will just be straight like that. So just go to the machine and stitch your zip out this way on this line. Yeah. Okay. Ma having the markings on the right side, this is where you want to affix your zip out. I don't have a zip out foot, so sorry. I don't, I can't, I can't go out for supplies. I've not been having a zip out foot. So you place the zip out like this. I just wanted to show you. Can you see? So, by the time you get into this point, you place the zipper on the curved side such that it's sticked inwards and the zipper bulge is eliminated. So, let me just try to do it. You bear with me. I don't have a zipper foot. Anyhow, it comes out. So you repeat same for the other side. You can see it has gone inward right now. So you can see, this is the part, like from this part, uh, from the burst point at the back 
to do before the hips line. Can you see it has gone inside? It's really inside. I just tried to use my manual machine teeth or zipper as teeth to do it to go inside. If you have your zipper foot, it should just be like this as well. So you can see right now, by the time you put on this dress, it's going to sit well at your back. The zipper will not be protruding out. It will not be bulging because you have gone inside as in you've created uh, real uh, measures to put away the bulge at the back. So this is just how to achieve it. Well done.